Today, we are discussing all things auto shotgun, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for all things Seven Days to Die. Now, if you are ready to take your Seven Days gameplay to the next level, be sure to subscribe to Savin's World and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. Today, we are talking about all things Auto Shotgun. This bad boy looks pretty sweet and I am really excited to get into it. So let's head inside and let's get everything we need. Let's get to it. The auto shotgun is a brand new tier three weapon added to seven days to die in the latest alpha 19 update. As with the other shotgun weapon, this bad boy's damage is broken up into damage by pellet. This thing will fire out 10 pellets, each pellet doing 16 damage, for a total of 160 damage per shot. Now, the great thing about the auto shotgun is not only does it deal a crap ton of damage, it also has an amazing magazine size. So while the pump shotgun can only hold up to 9 rounds unmodded, the auto shotgun can hold 17 rounds. So almost double the amount of rounds that you can pump out with this bad boy before having to reload. That is pretty darn sweet. Another great thing about the auto shotgun is the fire rate. It actually fires a heck of a lot faster than the old school pump shotgun. So here the pump shotgun has rounds per minute of 62. The auto shotgun has rounds per minute of 70. Too. So you can fire a whole lot faster with the auto shotgun. Let's take a look at the skills and perks that govern the auto, auto shotgun. The auto shotgun is governed by the strength attribute and the governing combat perk is the boomstick perk. Now, as you increase your boomstick perk, you're going to be dealing more damage, firing faster, reloading faster, stunning enemies for longer, and increasing the chance to dismember. Once you get this bad boy all the way up to boomstick level 5, you'll be dealing 50% more damage, have a 50% faster fire rate, and a 30% faster reload speed. You will also increase your stun to up to 8 seconds and have a chance to cripple opponents by shooting them in the legs. But again, let's be honest, folks, we're going to be shooting those mofos in the face. The strength attribute will also give you some extra headshot damage and a greater chance to dismember. All the way up to level 10, which means you'll be dealing 300% headshot damage and have a 50% greater chance to dismember. As for point costs... The strength attribute is like all of the other attribute skills. Tiers 1 through 5 cost 1 point to buy. Tiers 6 through 8 cost 2 points. And then 9 and 10 will cost you 3 points. Let's head back to Boomstick here real quick because I forgot to tell you. Boomstick can be unlocked at strength level 1, strength level 3, 5, 7, and the final one at strength level 10. Now let's take a look at the book series that governs the auto shotgun. And of course, I'm talking about Shotgun Messiah. Volume 1 lets you deal 10% more damage. Volume 2 gives you the ability to craft breaching ammunition. Breaching ammunition is actually very useful. You can use this to get into safes and stuff like that really, really fast. Volume 3, targets within 3 meters have a high chance to dismember, so you shoot a mofo point blank with a shotgun, you have a very good chance of blowing his head off. Volume 4, you can craft shotgun slugs, very nice. Volume 5, your shotguns degrade 20% slower. Volume 6, you can craft shotgun magazine tube mods. Volume 7, targets with full health take 20% more damage. Very, very good book to find. And once you have completed them all, you get one shot. You can one shot most wood blocks. 
and you can bulk craft all shotgun ammo. The ability to bulk craft, I find, is, has been uh, more beneficial than the ability to one-shot. But I guess in a pinch, if you're uh, getting getting uh, swarmed by a bunch of zombies and you need to get out of there in a hurry, I guess you could, uh, being able to one-shot a wood block would be, would be all right. But the, the ability to bulk craft shotgun ammo is much more beneficial, in my humble opinion. In order to craft the auto shotgun, like many of the other tier three weapons and new additions to Seven Days to Die Alpha 19, you will need to find the auto shotgun schematic. That's the only way to unlock crafting the auto shotgun. So be on the lookout for this auto shotgun schematic. Once you have found the schematic, you are going to need shotgun parts, forged steel, duct tape, scrap polymers, and springs. Very similar to many of the other weapons that we have crafted in the past. Uh, most of the weapons will take these items. And also keep in mind that as you increase your boomstick level, you also increase the tier level of the auto shotgun that you can craft. Increasing the tier level also increases the amount of, of items that you need in order to craft that weapon. You'll still need the same items, just need more of them. So keep that in mind. Next, let's take a look at all of the modifications that you can make to the auto shotgun. We'll start with all of the barrel modifications that you can make. You have the sawed off shotgun mod, which increases the projectile spread. I honestly would not recommend using this. Uh, the spread is wide enough. You don't want to widen it even more. Next up, the shotgun choke. This tightens the shotgun spread. That's a very useful mod. You have the shotgun duckbill mod. This makes your spread pattern very wide and not very high. Barrel extender, that increases damage range and aimed accuracy, but makes the weapon more unwieldy when fired from the hip. So this is a great mod to add if you're going to be aiming down the sights of the auto shotgun. And we have the silencer mod, which suppresses the sound. Again, I wouldn't really recommend using the silencer on your uh, auto shotgun, but you can if you want. Then we have the three trigger groups. You have the semi, the burst mod, and the full auto. We have our retracting stock mod, which increases hip fire. The foregrip, which also improves hip fire. We have the uh, reflex sight, which improves weapon handling. This is also done when aiming. You have the laser sight, which improves accuracy when hip firing. And you have the weapon flashlight mod. You guys all know my personal opinion on weapon flashlights. Only use them if you have nothing else to use. It's much better to use the helmet light mod. Keep your weapon mod spaces free and do not use this unless you absolutely have to. Then we have our three miscellaneous. We have the Crippleum mod, the Hunter mod, and the Rad Remover. Those can all go into the auto shotgun. The last set we have to talk about is the Magazine Extender mods. The great thing about the auto shotgun is you can install the Magazine Extender or the Drum Magazine mod to increase the magazine capacity of the auto shotgun, giving you a whole bunch of ammo to shoot at those zombie jerks. So not only does it automatically come with more, more shots than the pump shotgun, but you can increase those even more with either the magazine extender mod or the drum magazine mod. So that is all of the skills, perks, books, modifications, and crafting information for the auto shotgun. I do believe it is time to head to the rifle range and test this bad boy out on some zombie jerks. Let's do it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back to the rifle range. We've got a few zombie jerks in front of us here, and we are going to test this bad boy out. Now, it does have an effective range of only five meters, which means you need to be very, very close. So this thing is an up-close-and-personal weapon. Boom! <laughs> but once you do get up-close-and-personal, this thing will decimate those zombie jerks. So let's see how this bad boy does against 25 zombie jerks. <laughs> oh man. So aside from my crap aim, you can see just how awesome this weapon is. And this is unmodded 
basic skills, basic perks, nothing added into it. I even took my cigar off, so I wasn't getting any extra bonus strength points. So this is just the weapon on its own by itself. As you can see, this baby packs a punch. But now let's go ahead and get it modded up. Let's level up our character, read all the books, and we will see this bad boy at the peak of its usefulness. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Strength level 10, boomstick level 5, and shotgun messiah all the way up to 7 out of 7. Pretty darn sweet. We've got a whole group of Arlenes in front of us. Let's see this bad boy in action. The peak of its usefulness. Oh my god, we're just mowing down waves of them. Woohoo, baby! <laughs> Very nice. A couple of things I will point out. I went with the re retracting stock mod, the foregrip mod, the shotgun choke mod, and the drum magazine mod. Gave us a final damage of 21 damage per pellets and a magazine size of 33. So we can pump a lot of shotgun shells through this baby. Now, even though this weapon is called the auto shotgun, it is not a fully automatic weapon. It is a semi-automatic weapon. The reason they call it the auto shotgun is because you do not need to pump the weapon in order to eject the spent cartridge and load in another one. It automatically does that. It has that the drum on the bottom that spins as you fire. So it automatically reloads to the next cartridge. That's why it's called the auto shotgun. So don't be confused. It is not a fully automatic shotgun you will have to hit the trigger button uh, every single time you want to fire this bad boy however i will demonstrate the fire rate as you can see it has a decent fire rate it's actually faster than the pump shotgun because the pump shotgun you fire you pump you fire you pump you fire you pump it's a little bit faster than the pump shotgun I just wanted to explain that to you folks, just so there was no confusion, so you did not think that the auto shotgun was going to be a fully automatic shotgun. So there you have it, folks. That is all things auto shotgun. This bad boy is a beast. It packs a punch. It can hold a whole lot of rounds. I absolutely love it. You get your boomstick up to level five. Oh, this bad boy can kill almost anything in one shot it is an absolutely awesome weapon and a great addition to seven days to die i'd be really interested to know what you folks think about this weapon let me know down in the comments and also let me know if there was something that i missed that i should have tested something that you want me to see test in the future that would be great let me know down below but for now this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in Savin's world if you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.